Sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to get the foundation you need to pick yourself back up. One Sioux Falls man knows that story all too well. But as you're about to see in tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, thanks to one organization in particular, he's alive to share his story. Okay, ladies, let's quiet down for a second. Thank you, Sherman. Okay, so tonight we've got St. Catherine Drexel serving us. If you want to give him a round of applause. It's supper time at the St. Francis House, where it can get a little crazy at times with 80 mouths to feed. That's why 26-year-old Kenneth Berkey takes charge. He works full-time here as a house assistant. I want to help every single person I can, no matter who they are. How are those potatoes? They're good. They are? Okay. It's obvious Berkey is passionate about his job. Probably because I feel very, very comfortable here and I feel like I'm actually making a difference. Berkey says he wants to make a difference for people because he knows you never know when you're the one who's going to need help. I've spent a couple nights in a Walmart parking lot in my, in my car in the middle of winter when it was negative 20 out with three blankets and hand warmers with cops knocking on my window to make sure I didn't freeze to death. Berkey had fallen on hard times and was homeless. I really thought I was going to freeze to death because my fingers were blue and um, I had barely had any gas in my tank. So I'm like, I hope I've got enough to get to St. Francis House because I'm not going to make it if I don't. Berkey has stayed at the St. Francis House on a few occasions over the years. This was my home from 2011 pretty much till 2014. That stay allowed him to get a job and save enough money to now get a place of his own. His story is not all that uncommon. When I came here, I was at rock bottom. I didn't, I didn't have a place to stay, no money, no nothing. But staying here at the St. Francis House, it's like a seed been planted. I start to bloom and grow a little bit, you know. Frankie Webb, who is originally from Memphis, Tennessee, has been staying at the St. Francis House for a year now. St. Francis House means a lot to me. They accepted me in when I didn't have no place to go. For a lot of them, this feels like home. Julie is my second mom because, I mean, she's been there for me through thick and thin and and this is, this is really a family. There's a lot of joking. There's a lot of laughing. Sometimes we have people come in and play music. Julie Becker is the executive director. She says the St. Francis House gives its residents more than just a warm meal in bed. It also gives them hope. Which is why, of course, we need to build a new facility so that we can have not only a larger dining area, but also so that we can serve more people who are wanting to get out of the cold so we don't have anybody freezing and dying, let alone someone um, being in an unsafe environment. An environment Berkey never wants to experience ever again. I'd be dead at age 19. And I, I mean, I, there, there's no... There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. I would be dead. The St. Francis House is now in the process of building a new transitional facility. It's already raised $4.8 million and is looking to break ground this spring.